at Masters Club class. We're going to have some fun with the cane today. We're going to focus on some simple things and then take it to a lot of stages of making it more advanced. So we'll talk about switching hands today. So we'll start with just a right hand single center lolly. And if you've never done this before, it's four strikes. So I hit high, low, high, low, and then it repeats. High, low, high, low. And just keep that going in your pad. Head, knee, head, knee. Okay? Now, what that normally is done with is a partner. So if you're swinging on this side, we hit the sticks together. One, then we hit low, two, then we come back and hit three and four. I know many of you out there have done this for a long time. It's never a bad thing to do it more. I think I've done it for quite a while. I'm still doing it. Now, the first thing we're going to focus on is, is what I call the lazy switch. The lazy switch is just changing hands and doing the same exact thing with the other hand. So keep stick moving. If this is hard for you, stick with this for a while. So I'm left-handed, so should you be as well. Now I can change at any time, but I got to keep the rhythm going. Try to not miss the sticks, miss the hits. Okay, now if you want to try changing hands, go ahead. Maybe I'll change, or you could change out there. I don't know what hand you're doing, but hopefully you're still with me. The nice thing is about having a partner is if I'm having a hard time, maybe you could slow it down for me, right? And I can go nice and slow and learn. If I got it better, I can go faster with you. Try to make sure you're not just using your wrist like this. A lot of times I see the kids do this. We don't want that. We want to have a nice big swing. You're using the whole upper arm and shoulder, getting your legs moving side to side. You can see how I'm kind of swinging. I can even change my feet if I wanted to make that more advanced. Okay. In reality, it's fine just if, if I'm left-handed, I want to keep my left foot forward or right side. Right? Really easy. Okay. The next thing we're going to learn is how to do an entry and change hands. So that's that's a more of an intermediate skill. So some of my blue belts in our industry are working on this. So it would be one, two, on the third strike, I would enter, change hands. Now a trained partner is going to push my hand down and hit me on top of the head. So they push my hand down and then my head's are exposed. So I have to block and then they would clear my hand off and then we'd be left handed now, see? So let's do that again. Switch back lazy. That's why I call it the lazy switch. I enter in on that backhand strike. I grab the other end. Then as they push my hand down and hit me, I have to windmill that strike away so I protect myself and I would be holding their wrist. Then they would slap under my wrist to clear their hand off and then here we are, back again. Lazy switch back, try it again with me. So enter, grab, clear. Do it again, if we want to turn this way we can do it together. Here we go, enter, grab, clear. And now we're left hand, okay? So now we have a lazy switch, right? And a intermediate level switch, right? So now we go left hand, we have to change back to right. So enter in here now. So the palm is up on your entry point in. Now they're gonna slap that down, right? So there's the opening. Now they can hit me in the head. So now I use the cane to block with both hands. I block and then there's my switch. Now push their hand down and hold their wrist. And they're gonna have to slap that off before I can hit them, right? So they slap that off and then we hit low. Now I'm back to right hand. So let's do that again, do a lazy change, left hand change, enter on the palm up, they push it down, they try they start to hit you on the head, block with your cane, and then there's the change right there to my right hand, pass it down with my left, and they slap off or back. Let's do it again. Lazy switch. So remember your entry point is on the palm up, enter, move, grab, and you're back. Lazy switch back, one more time, enter, move, grab, and you're back. So now we have two ways of working on the hand switch. Right? The lazy switch is just for your basic skills, and then the advanced entry teaches you how to enter and give them more pressure 
and uh, learn how to change on the fly, okay? Now, advanced changing, I would call that more of a random thing, right? So if you have a partner and you're doing tappy tappy, which means counter for counter, anybody can do anything anytime, you know, I, I can enter and I can be doing my drills and all of a sudden I'll change hands and I'm in left-handed and it screws people up. And then you work into that right hand switch. So that's really more of the next level, right? Once you know how to change hands, then you gotta be comfortable using that in a live situation with a partner. All right, so great job today, Masters Club. I'll see you soon.